everyone, Shrin Virtuality here, and welcome back to Minecraft, or I guess my Minecraft adventure series that I'll be doing. Um, if you're coming from episode one, welcome back. Uh, if you haven't seen episode one yet, go back. Uh, we seem to have uh, lucked out in terms of uh, starting ourselves off in this new one. From last episode. Anywho, um, we'll do a couple other things around here. Uh, I did mention about uh, fixing up this house a little bit, making it a little bit more um, pleasing to the eye. But uh, in order to do that, I need some iron. So maybe not. Uh, and then I did mention about sort of getting a farm going with crops and and food supplies as far as the eye can see but i'd rather place it on a place that i would want and i need a bucket so i need iron uh and i would like to get myself some better tools uh giving stone stuff is certainly nice for the first day or two but I guess I could use some iron. All right, so it looks like everything sort of pointing to us needing to collect a certain resource. And that would be iron. All right, so let's uh, clear some of our stuff out of our inventory because we are going to need it for our next step. Also got a lot of food here that needs cooking, so let's... Uh, let's get the raw beef going. Uh, add, oops. I'll add a bit more coal to my furnace. Thank you. Uh, all right. Thank you. And then let's start the chicken. We should have enough beef for what we'll be doing. And what we will be doing is heading into that cave. Um, there seemed to be a good cave system going. So uh, we'll start there. Uh, we can get rid of the flowers. Oh, actually, there was uh, something I wanted to do. I wanted to see if something would work. And you guys are along for the ride. Lucky you. So we'll make some red dye because you can make dye from flowers. It's also raining outside. That is depressing. I didn't ask for rain. Uh, let me do the other chest. Oh, I hate the hops. I, I will fill the house out. I won't be hobbling around um, as a goofball for long. I just need to get stuff in order in here. Uh, keep the seeds. We'll put the seeds in our other box. I will arrange the boxes um, based on uh, basically what uh, what uh, type of items I want in each. I sort of go off memory for that. But we will make some more sticks because we need to make some more torches. Right. And you're done, my chicken, which means now you do the mutton. All right, back in here, we'll drop the leather, we'll drop the chicken, we'll drop the seeds. Um, and that's what we do. So, it's, you know, it's not nighttime. Oh. Uh, and that was, oh, you're going to take it all, I would just, it's two slabs together. All right, fine. Uh, yeah, that's right, it was two slabs. You can come down as one piece. And I can get rid of that cobblestone wall. Sorry, just stuff like this annoys me, so, boom, done. Didn't need the full one there, and I didn't need one of you. Alright, so a couple stone wall can go there and that can go there. Alright, so let's pick up our bed. What I would like to do... Oh yes, you can make a red bed. All you need is the dye. Boom. There, that's better. <laughs> like it more than just a white bed. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll make sure our respawn, respawn point is on there. And we got our mutton. Which we'll just promptly put it back in the box. Okay, um, all right, actually looking good. So, hi sheepies. I don't need any more wool from you, so we'll leave you alone. 
what we will do, remember the caves are over here, so we're going to go and visit ourselves some caves. Zzz. There's a couple of holes in these walls, so let's start start with the biggest one that I checked out and it was way too dark to see anything, but now we have torches. They will light up our way. Come on. All right. And we'll see if we can find some iron. Iron is usually not that hard to find, and you don't have to go very far into a cave to get it. Uh, but that is a... Yikes, that is a big drop. Is there a bottom? Oh, yikes. Let's try this way then. And we probably will hit some more enemies. Alright, well at least that's a little bit better, but we need to... We need to um, carve out a staircase in order to get us down. Please. And we'll pick up some more cobblestone on the way. Ooh. said very dark I can't even see I don't need to use that many torches but we need to see the bottom here <clears throat> oh, I got water this thing's a little bit slow going so far no iron we need to find iron and hopefully not too much else Come on, come on, oh, um, underwater. Let's go. Okay, so there's nothing this way. Torch over there. I'm gonna reclaim some of my torches just because it's sort of useful that uh, I keep them on hand so that uh, I can repurpose them without having to create them. supply going and maybe some cobblestone because we will need to get a lot of cobblestone in order to make our um, bricks. Actually it's called stone but you'll see what I mean. Okay so we got nine iron which is good like more. Like they say, nine is never enough. And I always gotta, gotta keep an ear open, because this is where most of the monsters come from too. They come from the dark places. Oh good, dead end. Uh, so my deepness, if you can see my position on the upper left hand side, the number 52 is 
relating to my depth. So if I go up a block, I'm 53. If I go down a block, I'll be 51. Uh, there are some good materials happening at the uh, position uh, altitude 12. Uh, stuff like gold and diamonds and redstone and all sorts of other stuff. So I don't know if... Well, we're not going to get too far deep because you also get stuff like lava. And if I start swimming in lava in my current state, uh, all the stuff that I have with me is going to go bye-bye. So we'll play it a little bit safe, but I want to see if I can find another cave entrance or another, you know, another system down here somewhere. If I hit a staircase and, and just go down single, single blocks and breaking stone pickaxes, then hopefully I'll find something else. You can see the torches don't last, like their radius are, is good enough, but uh, yeah, you go through a lot of them. Gravel. Let's see if we can get gravel's good for one thing, and that's getting flint. Come on! Nope, still no, no more iron. probably night outside and I've got tons of monsters between my home and me and this cave and uh, problems. Am I right? right? Let's go a little bit further. Got some more coal. I'm not too worried about that. Ah! More iron! There's the good stuff. It's getting dark, so let's get one more on the go. And let's see if we... No more iron. I run. Just mine in a direction and just see if anything sort of pops up. Oh, more gravel. Actually, here's a neat trick. You don't even need to use tools for gravel. Just hit it with a torch and it'll do the same thing. Just get rid of a block. And at least that way it doesn't, uh, doesn't wear out your tools. You may have noticed that's why I sort of did landscaping with one of my furnaces rather than, you know, make a shovel. Why make a shovel and just destroy it after a little project like that when I can use something else, you know? Yeah, no. All right. Well, hmm. Uh, give me back my torch. Uh, We'll try the other way, just just to say we did. It can't be gravel this way too, can there? No, there could be more iron. I said you don't have to look too hard to get uh, iron, so. That gives us what, 23? 23. Um, 
I was trying to think out on the top of my head what I would need to use it for. I know I can get uh, a pickaxe, a sword, some buckets. Uh, I don't have any flint yet, so I can't make flint or steel. Not that I need to set anything on fire quite yet. But, you know, just in case. Alright, so we'll leave it like that for this cave. I'm sure there's the other ones. Oh, I didn't go down there yet. Ooh. Should I? Let me just ride the river down. I guess we see. What do you have in store for me? More gravel! Oh, just what I always wanted! I'm not going to go down that hole quite yet, so... Alright, fine. Uh, can I get... A piece of flint? I can, there. So yes, I can make a flint and steel. Uh, I can also make shears if I really wanted to. So, um... Well, come back. Come back with me, Torch. We'll try and hit any uh, coal on the way back up, just so that we uh, replenish our coal reserves. Not that we use an awful lot, but, you know. Starting moments, I just want to make sure I have enough. Uh, we'll leave a couple of torches here. I'm sure we'll be down in this sort of section just to make sure that we haven't forgotten anything. that mountaintop that we did in the last episode. Ooh, another branch. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything in here though. Let's just make sure. No. All right, so let's head back top side. Looks like it's day, so awesome. Ah, more coal. There we go. Huh? Did someone just hum me? Did you have a nice ow? Did you have a nice fall? Maybe your llamas can pull you up, but I don't think so. So this is a wandering uh, traveler, traveling merchant, wandering trader. Uh, and if you had emeralds, uh, you could trade for stuff, which are not worth it apparently. Uh, two emeralds for a sea pickle. Uh, no, thank you. Um, you know, all this stuff you can get sort of on your own. So no need to uh, depart with uh, all the emeralds I don't have anyway. <laughs> Will you take coal? I have lots of coal. Yes. Could help, you know. You heard me. Nope. Oh. Well, I came down. All right, let's <laughs> carry on. Hope you make it out. Maybe. All right, let's go back. We need to start smelting some iron.
uh, and we have a stack of uh, cobblestone as well. So we can get a couple of projects started and hopefully make uh, things a little bit more better. Uh, I also mentioned that I would need to start fencing off my area here just so that uh, I don't have any um, unwanted guests. Uh, so what we'll do, I'm just going to mind that for a moment because we are going to need I can't remember if there was one or two. I'll need two more furnaces, but one for now. Uh, let's uh, get some coal into it uh, and then we'll break our iron ore stack in half and have one going with that and the other going with that. Uh, do I have... No, I don't have another furnace yet, so we'll make another one of those, but we're not going to use it as a furnace for now. It will be important later on. Uh, I'm starting to get annoyed with all this jumping around. So how many... Some boxes going here. Uh, okay, so chests. Uh, one there, one there, and one beside it to expand it. And I'll need some more wood, but that's fine for now. Okay, perfect. We have some iron. It makes me happy. Uh, all right, so off, come on, we are going to need, oh, I didn't realize, did I get two flints? I did get two flints. I don't want to make two flints. Uh, all right, uh, let's, that should be, I don't want to overmake, so that's why I'm sort of breaking things up here. Uh, what I will do first, though, we'll make our first bucket. And then uh, we'll make our shears. Grab our stack. One down there. And we'll get our flint and steel. Come on. Uh, and then we can grab the rest of the stack. That works out perfectly. Uh, one iron pickaxe and one iron sword. Uh, iron pickaxes are useful because when you start getting into the better materials, you won't be able to uh, extract them with a stone pickaxe. So that will work in our favors. Uh, all right, and now that we have some access, uh, what we're going to do going to break our cobblestone into half and we're going to start heating it up. Uh, and cobblestone that's gone through the furnace will turn it into stone and if you do it again it'll turn it into smooth stone uh, which is better building materials than what we were using just the regular old cobblestone for. Uh, let's... Because I am going to do a bunch of it so... Coal back into our furnace and then we'll pop the rest of it in there. All right, looking good. Um, I'm actually quite surprised I haven't seen any other enemies. Uh, that cave was rather vacant, you know, other than that wandering trader that is now sort of occupying that space. Uh, we do have some dirt piles, so I'm gonna do that and you'll see why momentarily. Uh, it's also becoming night, so you know what? I'm not going to roll the dice on trying to survive the night yet. What we'll do is we'll sleep, we'll get up, and we'll get at it again. Uh, and before I forget, I do need some sand. I 
believe it's six blocks of glass that I'll need, but I'll get a couple more. Trying to mine anything underwater takes longer, so it might as well be above water. But we'll collect all this sand. And then we'll head back, and then maybe we can actually put windows in this place. Hmm. Uh, except the fact that I'm doing all that first. Uh, so we'll get... i uh, keep that going for a moment longer. Alright. Uh, what I did need the stones for first... Where is it? Do I not have rock cutters materials yet? Okay, I'm sure it's in here. Where's my oh, there it is. It's like, yeah, I know I have the materials for it. Come on. There we go. Rock cutter. So let's, come on, so let's come outside, I'm going to plunk this down outside here, uh, and what it's used for is to shape our stone into one of these configurations, um, stone steps, stone walls, stone brick walls, uh, design, slabs, so what I like is I like this, and I'm going to do the whole stack that I have here. Whoops. Said I'm going to there stone bricks. That's what it is. So just to give you an idea, there's our regular cobblestone, and there's our stone bricks. Much nicer. I mean, everyone's it's personal preference at that point, but yeah. I, just tend to like how it sort of works better for me. So we'll use that for our house design. Uh, all right, so looking good. You know what, I'm gonna wait for this one to finish. All right. We'll stop it and we'll start heating up our sand so that we can make glass. While we have the iron to begin with, uh, we make one more bucket, and I wonder if I should just make another pickaxe just so that I have it ready to go. Um, I know I'll be getting more iron before they expire anyway, so let's leave it like that. Okay, that looks good. I was just down by the river. Why didn't I think about getting water? Which was the other thing I needed, so give me a second and let me do that. So there, a couple of water buckets. Good. Uh, and before I forget, uh, I also need to make sure everyone, everywhere around the area is lit up so monsters do not spawn at the places where I don't need them to spawn. Uh, so we'll make some more sticks and some more torches. And because one will go there. And once we have lots of Iron, we can turn those torches into lanterns, which will make it make make it look a lot nicer. Uh, okay, not so bad. So, 
what I'm going to do, let me, uh, I'll do another time lapse and I'm going to go and collect some more wood. And this time I'll actually go and start um, planting more, oh, hi bunny, uh, planting more <laughs> trees and, and making sure that, uh, that I'm not going to be running out of wood anytime soon. All right, so we'll be back momentarily. I guess we gotta make our way back. Hello, Mr. Bunny. Um, before, well, I mean, I'm a little bit perturbed that I still haven't seen much enemies, and I don't want to sort of say, "Ooh, it's all big and scary," and then suddenly like nothing happens. So we'll see if we can find a couple of monsters uh, during this night, just to sort of say that we did see them. Uh, but we did get lots of wood, so while we're waiting, so I don't want to wait too long. I don't want creepers blowing up my house. Uh, we'll get some fence posts going because I will start decorating. But let's see. Aha, there we go. Signature creeper! Hi! And what they do is they get near you and they blow up! But I don't want them to blow up. I oh, blow up. Hi, Mr. Zombie. Here's all the monsters. Ugh. Well, like I mean, I was gonna put <laughs> make make a farm area here, so I guess I was gonna fill it up with dirt anyway. But jeez, see, and here's another one. He wants to blow up my house. Oh. And a skeleton! Ah! Two skeletons! No! Let's see if we can get... Ooh! Actually, I'm about to die! Oh, come on, come on! Ah! Alright, well... <laughs> I guess just to... Mention that don't leave... <laughs> I'm so used to having armor and better weapons and... Uh, go away, Creeper, go away. Go away. Uh, all my stuff, all my stuff. Give me all my stuff. Well, at least I have full health. You need to die. Alright. Uh, well, I wasn't... I'm not sore about dying. I wasn't planning on doing it, though. Ah, uh, well, what can you do? Let's, we'll get everything back arranged the way it was. Isn't it? Didn't I have a stone pickaxe? Well, don't matter now. And we'll see if we can get rid of this creeper before you blows up any more of my land. Oh, there's my stone pickaxe. Jeez, it flew far. Don't. Don't. Blow up. There we go. They drop gunpowder, which will be nice and useful later. Alright, I think that's everything now. Uh, okay, and since we saw a sheep, um, we'll just bring out the shears just because you can get wool off of sheep without having to kill them. I know it's not as fun, but hey, what can you do? So you just go up to them and snip. Uh, and this will be like a special shout out to uh, my lovely wife, Shell Shell. You can catch her on her channel. Uh, she does crochet goods and other 
Minecrafty type things. Um, she's curious about Minecraft because uh, she's in a community that knows all too well about the uh, the Minecraft worlds, and so <laughs> she's like, "Oh, well, you know, can you can you make uh, crochet stuff?" I'm <laughs> like, "Well, there's just wool. These sheep give us wool, and all we can do." It's a good question, you guys. What can you make out of wool? Um, beds, carpets is about the extent that I know of. Uh, unless I'm not... I can use the blocks to sort of make whatever else, but not really much use for wool as far as I can tell. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. Oh, another sheep. I can get more wool. Um, but yeah, she's... <laughs> My wife's like, well, you know, you got to use the wool for something. And I'm like, well, okay, we'll talk to Mojang, Mojang and we'll see if we can get the uh, the uh, yarn update available for Minecraft sometime soon. Because, you know, that might happen. Um, but yeah, all right, so... Got some, got some iron, got some combats, uh, and got lots of materials. So when we get to the next episode, we can hit the ground running. Uh, but for now, I think that will do it for this episode. Uh, if you're enjoying uh, Minecraft and what I'm, what you're seeing uh, in my videos, then drop me a like and leave a comment and subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want to know when I drop more, ring that bell. You know, all the usual YouTube stuff. But, uh, no, if you're watching watching me play Minecraft and are enjoying it, then uh, thank you so much, because it means a lot to us. Anywho, this is, this is my shears being thrown to the ground. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Now. Yeah.